G'day everyone, thanks for joining me for this second video on trading technology in Australia. This week we're going to be looking at connectivity between Excel and WebIris and uh, we're going to be looking at some techniques you can use to build your own spreadsheet based models to maybe identify um, some trading opportunities or help do some work that you do manually at the moment. Now if you're watching this video you've probably got some capital left to trade and uh, that's a good thing in this in this market so let's check it out. Alright let's go into WebIris and we can have a look at the DDE functions. I'll just log in now. Now to use the DDE functions of WebIris you need to have Microsoft Excel 2003 or 2007. I have 2007 installed and shortly after we log in there will be a message that comes up and asks us if we want to install the data services for Excel uh, that you can see here. Now if we say yes that'll launch a uh, an installer that'll then take us through the process of, um, of adding the Excel um, the Excel adding into uh, into the system. So I'll just hit install. Okay so that's finished. Now if I bring up Excel now this may look a little different if you're used to Excel 2003 because uh, this is Excel 2007. Uh, you'll notice that if I go into Excel Options and then into Add-ins, and I'll just go down here to manage the Excel Add-ins. You'll notice here a Web Data Excel Add-in, and this is the um, this is the Web Iris Add-in that's um, that's put into Excel that allows us to pull pull prices in. Now, if I go to the Add-ins tab. And go into web data or I can select a variety of data. Let's just start off with the market depth. Type in the stock code BHP, that'll do. I don't want detailed mode, I'll go summary. And then we can select which um, which fields we want and we want all of those. So uh, it can it can pull the data in. Now obviously we can then build spreadsheets off those numbers. So for example if we wanted to do a um, uh, if we want to pull in some prices for BHP and Rio, and so we want all the all the fields. This data actually updates in real time, so you'll see the prices move as BHP and Rio change. You can just see a, um, a BHP price change there. Now, on that we can do uh, we can do formulas. Uh, like for example, we could work out the um, the BHP Rio uh, conversion ratio if we uh, if we want to track that. Uh, and we can even go back in time and have a look at that and see um, see how it's evolved over time. Now you'll notice in there the uh, that this data was called RTD. That stands for real time data, and it's the newer equivalent to what people may remember as being DDE technology. RTD is a lot more robust, a lot more reliable than DDE, which has been around for you know probably 20 years. Um, which is the reason that it doesn't work with versions prior to Excel 2003 for when RTD was, was introduced. Okay, now let's use the time series feature in the WebRS add-in to look at BHP and Rio's conversion ratio over time. Uh, so we'll say we want BHP and Rio, we want daily information over a little bit over a year. So next and we'll say we want the data to be across the page. That is, that the uh, the prices will be in columns for the um, for the two stocks. And we're only just interested in the date and the closing price. And we'll just expand the columns out a little bit, and you'll see that uh, this column has the um, the date and the price for BHP, and this has the date and the price for Rio. Now the dates will obviously marry up to one another. So why don't we just go and delete those, and we'll put BHP and Rio in as the um, as the headers. Okay, what we can do now is then calculate the ratio of Rio to BHP. And we'll copy that formula all the way down just like we normally would in, in Excel. And then we'll go and create a um, we'll go and create a chart of the whole thing. Let's say insert line chart. So we can see three three different series there uh, for BHP, Rio, and the ratio. And obviously the ratios 
uh, off the scale. So what we might do is pull um, BHP and Rio out, and there we've got a um, a representation of what the of what the BHP ratio has done over the last the last 12 months. We're going to look at watch list codes. Now there's thousands of different things you can type in here. You can do backslash and then an index name or, uh, or a, a bunch of other things which we'll, uh, we'll look at in a second. If you want to look at uh, say BHP calls, uh, you do C BHP after the, after the backslash and hit finish and it'll bring back all the codes for uh, current BHP call options. Now if we go and select all of those we can then go up and select the options item and we hit next we'll then get a bunch of fields that are, uh, are relevant to ETOs and we hit finish and uh, there's all the um, all the ETO information on, on BHPs. Now that's just um, one of a number of, um, of watch lists that we can use as I mentioned before you can use indexes and, and other things. Now if we go and have a look at web iris, uh, if you go into the little navigator, um, watch list navigator here, and we bring up watch lists, you can see there's a bunch of different types. Now if we are to look at um, equity call options, you can see here there are the watch list codes for all the different uh, watch lists relating to ETAs, and that's how I found the, um, the, the BHP one, uh, but the, the format's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. Uh, you've got uh, different GIX categories, uh, you know, warrants, indexes, there's, um, there's heaps of stuff in there. Okay, so going back to, uh, back to Excel, let's have a look at one of the index watch lists and we'll look at uh, how we can create a, uh, create a heat map. So firstly we'll go to uh, watch list codes and do slash um, XJO. So there's the S&P 200 uh, indexes. I'll go in and I'll select all of the codes and instead this time I'll pull back some price quotes and what I'll do this time is a little bit different. I'll remove uh, all of the uh, all of the fields and just add back the ones that I want and this time I'm only interested in say percentage change and then I'll hit uh, hit finish. Okay, now what we can do then is select things like um, like percentage change and use all the um, the formatting facilities of, of Excel. So we're going to create a heat map in this case to color all the changes from from red to green, and uh, this will give us an idea of um, of how big the changes have been on a stock basis um, according to the according to the color. Okay, well now we'll look at the trades facility where we can pull back trades for a specific stock for a certain date. So we'll just say BHP for the 28th. And we'll see here that every row in the spreadsheet now represents one trade. And we can go back and uh, look at specific condition codes or um, sequence numbers and quantities, etc. Uh, if we if we want to look that. So one important distinction to make is that the only facility in the add-in that updates in real time is the price quotes. These other options are snapshot only, they don't update throughout the day. Well thanks for joining us, hopefully there was something in that that you didn't already know. Uh, feel free to check us out over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at price filters, alternative platforms for execution other than the ASX and a whole bunch of issues around liquidity and short selling as well as talking to a couple of traders um, who do things on a bit of a bigger scale than probably um, you or I. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.